guys welcome back to wishing tales today is china mail monday if this is your first time joining me thank you for stopping in i hope you enjoy uh this is the one that i ordered back in november i ordered it on november 20th i received it on december 11th and it's from a store i've never ordered from before and i don't want to mess up how it's pronounced so i'm just going to put it on the screen and tell you how it's spelled it is f-e-i space p-o store and again i have it on the screen for you um Again, I've never ordered from this company before. This is a 30 by 45 and I paid 1501 for it. So let's just get in here and see what we have. Um, this was on my list like a long, long time ago. I don't even know if I put it on any of my wish lists, but I've, I've had it in on my the uh, website for a long time on my wish list. But... I'm going to do this one up for my son, even though I like him too. And, uh, okay, it does come on a foam core. Look at all those beautiful colors. Oh, I can't wait to show you these colors. Okay, so this particular store gives you a couple little bags, the cheap angle tweezers, a regular pen, a big piece of wax, and a little boat. No multi-placers or anything like that. So, it's okay. I have plenty. No big deal. But, um, can you see the colors already? I mean, those colors, look how vibrant they are. We'll get into that here in a second. Let me, uh... Had to get my glasses. And then I will show you... Hold your ears a second, guys. show you what we have here in a second there are 40 colors that is a lot of color in a 30 by 45 that is what I ordered if you guys don't know who he is his name is Charmander and he is a Pokemon but 40 colors on this little guy I mean a 45 by 30 that's amazing that's amazing and again just look how vibrant these colors are I mean I know he's fire and stuff but Let's look at these. What is this? These are the three tens. And you guys all know, most of you know, that the three tens are where you're going to have your issues. A couple little divots. Nothing major. So let's look at some of these colors, guys. We have some nice bright colors in here. I'm sorry if the camera, the glare... They look really nice from what I can tell. These are your three tens. Focus, focus. I like the holographic numbers on there. That looks, those look so good. Oh man, I might have to put him high on the list because he's just so cute. But we'll have to see when we open the canvas. Right, let me put this back real quick. Um, I'm I'm really surprised that it's that many colors for a 30 by 40. I didn't expect to see that many colors. But as you guys know, the more colors, the better the detail. So, fingers crossed that it's good detail. Find out here in a second. Sorry for the noise. set this aside and we are going to get into this canvas they do have the plastic bands around them it is on a foam core and it is um, the paper remember we talked about that before that means it is uh, double face tape not poured glue it's okay as long as the wrinkles as long as there's no wrinkles on it so you can tell that one I might have just done I'm, I'm not sure might be a couple I have had this for a while though so let's see what we have I'm going to open both sides um, so it'll flatten if you guys didn't know already like if you're new to the craft 
and you get a painting like this you don't want to force it open all of it you want to do like half and then flatten that side and then do the other half and flatten it because otherwise you could cause rivers on the um, double face tape kind the ones that have the the white covers so I'm trying to flatten them out so we can look at them and I'm excited to look at him but yeah if you force it open like I'm actually doing a little bit right there you could cause rivers and most of the time you can get those little rivers out um, I've only ever had one really super wrinkled canvas and uh, that was my um, what I call the she's a tangled picture and I can link that down below so you can see what I was talking about oh my god that was so horrible and um, I haven't looked at it lately it's actually underneath my my light pad here because I figured the warmth would probably hopefully straighten it out some um, it's been up there for a while so I, I'll have to take a look at it okay we got it all nice and flat now for him I assume Charmander's a guy I don't know is he a boy I don't know so I did rip it a little bit no big deal let me do that stickiness seems okay Oh my goodness, I'm going to love doing him. Look how adorable he is. And that looks really, that looks better in the camera because, you're, you know, you guys are a little further away. Um, I don't want to move him, so I'm going to actually take you down and show you the drill field. Hey, I said it, guys. Did you notice that? I said it right. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have trouble seeing drill field. And I usually just say field. Yeah, those symbols look really good. I don't want to move you around too much. Those look really, really clear. Oh, I can't wait to work on him. And in case you're wondering, yes, I do play Pokemon Go. So there you go, guys. Charmander. From a new store that I've never ordered from before. Uh, I think it was worth it, honestly. Really good details. We'll have to work them up and see what it looks like. But from here, it looks like really good details. So remember to visit me on Instagram at Wishing Tales. Or you can visit me on Facebook at Wishing Tales Diamond Painting. And uh, you guys have a great day. And I will see you next time. Bye.